Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really glad that you're here. Now, I really wanna be honest with you and preface this video and say, this is not the message that I was going to share with you because the thing is, as I was preparing for um, filming this video this evening as my slow cooker Mexican beef cooks, um, I was making sure the curtains were perfect. I was pulling up the camera and trying to get the perfect angle. I was trying to make sure that these pillows looked nice and colorful and pretty for you and make sure that the candle was on. There was a nice ambiance and to make sure that the lamp was on and the, the lighting was in the perfect position. And then I was like, do you know what? This is just frustrating. This is because <laughs> I can't make it perfect. And people don't need my lounge room or my living room to look perfect for me to share a message with them. You don't need um, all of this stuff to look picture perfect like it does in all those, you know, gorgeous YouTubers videos to hear a message that will have an impact on you. And in that moment, I was instantly reminded and I just thought, you know what? That is like what it is like um, with our relationship with Jesus. That is exactly what it's like with Jesus. Jesus doesn't need us to be perfect um, for us to accept him. And I think that is so true before we become Christians because, you know, we, we don't have to come to Jesus, whether it is before we are saved or after we are saved. We don't have to come to him with our life together. We don't have to come to him with all these solutions and all of these things because honestly, he just wants us to come to him. He just wants us to be present with him. He just wants um, to have our attention and to have our heart. Even if we are messy, even if we are broken, um, even if we're sad and crying and all over the place, Jesus just wants us. So I just wanted to remind you today actually of that really, really simple thought. Um, I think we, we, well, we do, I don't think, I know, we see this in the Bible and I just wanted to um, bring this up. Like we see that Jesus moves towards people's mess. We see that Jesus intervenes miraculously in people's uh, lives, even when they're in a mess, even when they are hurting, even when they are broken. Um, we see this, you know, when, when there is a blind man beside the road, um, we see Jesus moving toward a woman who's caught in adultery, showing her love, showing her grace, pointing her to, um, to him. Um, we see Jesus interacting and, and healing a lame man who is lying beside a pool. In all of these examples and in so many more throughout scripture, we see that Jesus actually moves toward people in their mess. Jesus doesn't see their mess and go, ah, oh my gosh, mess, ew gross you know you need to put yourself together before you come to me no 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 like that's laughable right um jesus comes toward people jesus moves toward people's mess he moves toward their hurting he moves toward their dysfunction he moves toward their brokenness we see that throughout the bible so why would it be any different for you whether you know jesus whether you don't know jesus and you're wondering about who he is i want to encourage you and if you don't know him, he wants to know you and he wants you to know him now. And you can know him now, even when you're in your mess, even when you're in brokenness, even when um, you are making mistakes and, and, and living in a sinful way. He just wants your heart, right? You can come to know him today. And for those of you who do know Jesus and who have made a commitment to him, I just want to encourage you that you can never be too far gone. Um, perhaps you've said yes to him and then you have... Um, really felt a lot of shame and guilt or you have made poor decisions and um, you feel like, oh, you know, he couldn't love me. I just want to remind you, he loves you. Um, he loves you no matter what. He died for you. He rose again for you. That's for your sins, past, present and future. But the truth is, and this is powerful, that well, one, you can come to him in your brokenness, in your mess, in your mistakes, come to him and give that to him. But he doesn't want you to stay there. Jesus doesn't want to you to have a relationship with him so you can stay in that broken, messy place. He wants to um, take you forward. He wants to give you a whole life, a life that um, is functional, a life that is blessed, a life that points other people to him, a life um, where, where he is the center of it and where you're living in victory. I just want to remind you of that. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you today that you don't have to, um, you don't have to clean yourself up before you come to Jesus. 
whether you know him, whether you don't, I just encourage you today to come to him. Um, and that's how I feel about you guys. I don't want to um, have to, to polish every area of my life um, um, before I share with you and before I share what's going on in my life or the things and the thoughts um, that I'm having about God. I just want to um, come to you, messy living room and all, and say, hey, um, you know, I love you, I care about you, and this is Jesus, and this is the message, this is the truth. So I hope that that encourages you today. I hope that that encourages you to draw near to him, um, because the Bible does promise us when we draw near to him, he will draw near to us. And you can do that right now, even in your brokenness.